Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into a new note-taking app, which is an older one, but it has sort of flown under the radar and hasn't gotten the hype and the attention I feel like it deserves because it is a really amazing note-taking app. This app is called Super Notes and it was initially built for students as a way to take notes and collaborate on notes, but it can do so much more than that. So let's jump into the app and I can show you a little bit on how it works. So it revolves around note cards, which I have right here. Uh, and it is uh, a really easy to learn note taking app. It has a graph view as well. And you can also look at your notes in a list like this or a graph view like this, which is, I just love a good graph view. It has 3D and 2D. I mainly use the 2D version. It has a calendar right here, so you can see when you took all of your different notes, which is really fun. Uh, and it has tasks as well. So as you can see, this super notes review is actually a task inside of here and I have the title idea as well and you have different forms of organization inside of this so let's just open up this app as you can see it uses markdown so if you're familiar with markdown this is quite easy and quite easy app to use and they have a cheat sheet as well if you're not that familiar with markdown but it is quite easy to learn even I was able to we have tags, we have parent cards, and we have links. That's the main way of organizing inside of this app. So you can tag different things, or you can give it a parent card, or you can link it to another card. So tagging is something a lot of people uh, are familiar with. This is good if you would like to filter your notes, because you can filter based off tags. I like to use all three because I like to uh, organize my notes in different ways so I will always be able to find them. Then we have a parent note which is sort of like a filter so I have a YouTube video ideas note which is a parent note and super note review is a is nested underneath that parent node. So quite similar to a folder and it also shows up in the graph view how it is linked to a parent node. Backlinks is just a way for you to link to another note. Uh, and you can do a lot of other things here as well. You can add images, icons, templates, uh, an emoji, or you can change the color of this. So I could change this to red and I could press control enter to finish that note and it is formatted the way I want it to. Now I can go on and I can just press uh, done and it is done, it is finished, but I can search for it to find it one more time. So it is called super notes, still can't spell. It isn't one of my videos unless I struggle with spelling. Uh, so super notes and we should be able to find the note right here and here we have the note and i can just press this and i can find it again and start writing inside of here so i could actually link this back to super notes so i could write this is a review of of and i could then go in here and i could link to super notes like this and when i press control enter you can see that it opens up a link right here and i can press this and i can also see all of the different backlinks right here which is really really cool it also is not just cool but it's a great way to add a little bit of serendipity to your notes just like just like the graph view is and as you can see here once you change the color of note it also changes the color inside of your graph view which is a small thing but it shows that they are uh, paying attention to detail which is a really important thing when it comes to your note taking 
app. It excels at sharing and collaborating on your notes. That's probably its main selling point, but I have never used it uh, for uh, that purpose. I just use it as another PKM tool for taking notes because it does such an amazing job at that as well. And we can jump into our thoughts, which is basically our inbox. So let's say you are on the go and you want to take a note on your phone, but you don't have the time to organize it. So you can just write it and it will appear in your thoughts. Then once you get home or once a week, depending on how you like to do this, you can jump into your thoughts and you can organize every single note you have inside of here. So these are, as they say, your lonely cards with no name, content or hierarchy. They are doing a great job at developing the app. Super Notes 3.0 came out right before the new year, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it allows you to uh, work offline as well. So you can take notes offline and it will sync back up once you're online, which is something I know a lot of people do love. And it has become uh, important to me as well, since I'm struggling a little bit with my internet connection at home recently. So I need an app that can uh, be able to, that I can be able to work in when I'm offline as well. So the notes inside of here have a soft limit. So every note uh, you have inside of different cards has a soft limit. So this is building a second brain by Tiago Forte. And if I now press this, you can see that it says that it is 1144 characters over the soft limit. But that doesn't mean that you can't write long notes. It just shows you uh, shows you that you are over the soft limit right here. So I have used it to take longer notes, but it probably excels at taking shorter notes. All of these apps with cards work better if you take shorter notes. And just in general, this app is really cool, amazing. They are uh, paying a great attention to the details, which is important in my eyes and the uh, app just seems so simple and easy to use. Uh, it reminds me of many of the easier apps I've tried out like Tooze, probably a little bit more difficult to learn than Tooze, but it is just so easy to write things down inside of it and you just want to take more and more notes and you want to spend time uh, inside of your notes and it has formatting as well if you wanted to summarize things or you wanted to highlight things you can easily do that by using markdown and the team offers great support as well i took I went into the forum and they are answering a lot of the questions they get. So this is probably one of the apps I recommend the most for people that just want to take notes. You can even add images inside of here as well. I have done that a lot because I work a lot with images. And yeah, the, there are a few things missing in this app. Uh, one of the things is a web clipper, but they have said that it is coming uh, and hopefully it will come quite soon. And there are some small other things which are minor problems or uh, I haven't figured out how to do them yet. But just to show you, I will jump into this note right here. And I wish that I could backlink just by doing this, but I can't, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, even though I really want it to work, it doesn't. Uh, the only way to link, or at least the easiest way, is to press uh, right here and link it to something else. That is just one small thing. Um, it isn't the biggest problem, uh, but it is a small thing I would like to see improved. I would like to be able to link things through Markdown, but I can't right now. Uh, 
and it hasn't stopped me from using the app as I said but it is a small thing. The same goes for tags as well so like this I can't actually add a hashtag and write something and it will get that tag. The way to tag things is to press here and add a tag from right here. There might be keyboard shortcuts for this which I haven't found yet uh, but just in general I would like to see those small things improved. Apart from that uh, I am really in love with this app. I was the last time I tested it out as well but it has gotten even better and as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so so much for watching today's video.